All right, this is the end of our project. So you have those tabs here to control which particular page you go to. And this one as well could actually help you to do that. Uh, let us look at the full report here. So clicking on this full report, this is what you have. And we have this particular in-page navigation. If you're just here for the first time, you might wanna consider hitting the subscribe button because we have a lot to learn on this. And we have this particular part that can actually help you to filter the dashboard, break it down to a particular, you know, uh, little chunk, wherever. So clicking on the home will take you back home. And if I click on return, it's taking me to where I have marital analysis. But what you're about to do today is not in any other page but this particular page we have right here all right let us take a look at it this particular part here would actually help us to link to on that page likewise this one and this one plus those particular one we have at the top right here okay we have actually created it from the from part from part one to part five so you might want to take a look at that and if you've not actually subscribed before now go ahead and actually just sub this particular you know youtube channel for you to learn about microsoft excel and power bi so if you're ready let's do it all right the first website i want to show you now is this particular color.adobe.com right here so right on this particular website you can actually get different types of color you know combination that could actually work for you on your project so all you just have to do is to click on this explore right here so let us do it together and see how you can actually pick your color from here i've just clicked on explore and this is what i am going to have right now i have some color combination that actually work together you can actually take a look at how to utilize these and make use of it and if those colors you have right here does not meet your need what you can do is to actually come to this particular part right here and type in the color you want to use specifically if you know the color you really want to use okay what i'm going to do right now is just to click here and um click on that particular sidebar type blue and um orange right here so orange here so let's find out what color mixture we are going to see could you see that now yeah can you see this okay this is exactly what it is so in case you want to actually pick any of the color just click on it like this and uh, clicking on this particular part will definitely help you to pick the color from this so you've just copied the color code that is all you need to do so now let us move to Power BI Desktop and see what we have done previously before now. So we have to do some tidying up of the thing and all of that. So we need to actually link those pages and all that. So we've done a lot right here and uh, we're going to do more. So we don't have that particular home page here. So we're going to create the home page. So all I have to do is to click right here, double click on it and actually make sure you just type in here home. So type here home. So this is our home page. So the next thing we're gonna do now is to get our team ready. So these are the previous teams we've actually created. So we've done this in the video number, uh, I think number three, I presume. So you can actually take a look at it. So this is the one we're about to create right now. I'm gonna show you how to do this from the scratch. So let us just get on it. So the very first thing you do is just to actually insert in your PBRX and now you have to remove this. Don't touch the size. The size is okay. It's equal size with the Power BI canvas. All right. Now you right click and uh, you go to this particular format background here and choose a color. We want a dark color, right? So let us go with something like this. It looks so good, right? Okay. What is next? We need to actually get in here a card let's get okay i think this is actually the rectangle we can get so drag it down right here and now we have to change its color so we just have to come here and uh, already i've picked my color from where i showed you you can go ahead and pick your color from there use any color you like you don't have to use the same color just be creative so i'm gonna have my color here now this is the color i want to use so i have this color if you look at it we have outline on it so we have to remove it you can call it border wherever so now we come here and have it turned off so that is gone so we have to be some kind of like um being being on the same page so use the same thing i'm using right now 
So let's do 6.07 here. That is 6.007. We're going to do that by 5.8. That is 5.18. So this is the size we are going to use, right? So after that, I'm going to have to duplicate this one here. So on this one, I can just make it a little bit smaller, just like this. So this one is going to be right here. So I have to change its color as well. For the color, we go here and um, I'm going to go ahead and get my color ready. So you, if you don't want to, if you want to do the same thing I'm doing, all you just have to do is to copy this particular hex code right here. Or you can actually go to the red, green, and blue. If I step in now, you can see different numbers for the red, green, uh, down to the blue. The hex code will be cool. Just copy it and paste it on yours. It would work. Go ahead and click on OK. This is the color we have. Hmm, orange or what? I don't know. I think I have to check what name of this color is. So if I want to do that right now, I'll just come here and hover over this and it gives me red. Oh, all right. So that is okay. So now we have to bring this right here and uh, we have to send it, I think, behind this one. So right click on it and you're going to see where it says send, send to back. So send to back works. Let's see what we're going to do. So I'm actually moving this up a little bit and uh, here is what we are going to do. This is exactly what I want to have here. Something like this, but not just like this. Um, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to have this one duplicated, but we need to have it duplicated. And on this one here, I'm going to have to reduce it a bit. I'm going to bring it down here to cover this particular aspect here. So I'm going to take this up a bit to just get the design I want. I think this would be cool for me. Let me just bring it down a little. I think with this, I'm covered. Okay, I'm sending it to back, but before I send it to back, let me just choose to use the same color, just like my background here. That is exactly what I have to do. So right now I'm going to like right click and send it to back. And uh, I'm going to click on this one as well and send this one to back because I don't want it to go behind this one here. So I'm sending it to back and this is what we have right now. So the next thing is for me to just click on this one. Ctrl D to double it. I'm going to move it right here. So now I have this selected all together. Right click and go ahead and group them together. Then we just have it as one. So we can now move it and position it to where we really want to have it right in. So I'm going to move this a bit around here. Something like this should be cool. So I have it duplicated and I move the duplicate right away. And this one is going to be in the middle of them. So all I want now is for me to actually have the same, uh, have them aligned together. So all I love to do is just to make sure I mix them up. This is the one that's in the light in, in the, in, in the, I think, I think, um, the level of this one. Okay. Yeah. The level of this one is cool. I'm going to do, then hold everything together. Yeah. Click on this, go to align. And I'm going to just click on Align tab. Okay. I have them equally. Then I release it. This one here has to be the same level as this one. Just go ahead and align bottom. Yeah, actually, that gives me the same size. All right. Okay, I'm going to pick this particular one here. They look like a button. Mm, I love it. So it has some curvedness, right? So we just have to go ahead and let's see what the curvedness is. I think I love the curvedness we have right in it, right? So I'm going to leave it this way. And I'm having this on this particular position here. So I'm supposed to have four of them. So we double click, uh, Ctrl D rather. So Ctrl D, we move this right to this particular spot here. Ctrl D again, we bring this on here, somewhere around here. So Ctrl D for the last one and we bring it in. So now we just have to make sure we shift things around and uh, this should be here. So they should both just contain this particular part. So I'm going to move this one. For me to move this one, I don't have to guess it. I just have to make sure I hold the bottom one and I'm going to click on this and you should know where you're moving to. We're moving to the left and that is beautiful. Okay, on this one here, I'm going to hold this one because I want to centralize them, right? 
And if I do this, I'm move, moving this to the right hand corner. Oh no, it doesn't really work that way. Okay. I think to the left as well, to the left. Yeah, beautiful, to the left. So hold this, 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 and uh, we just have to make sure we go to a line. This time around, we are distributing horizontally, not vertically. And this is exactly what we have. Can you see this? Hmm, that is nice. Okay, now it is time for we to actually, you know, see how we can actually get to do, uh, maintain this to look beautiful. So first off, if I click on this, 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 and uh, I just go ahead and see no line, release it. On this one, I'm gonna make it special because it's the home page. So I'm selecting this one, but I just have to reduce the transparency a little bit because I don't want to be this kind of red. So just do this and you're gonna have something like this, love it. So now it is time for me to get to work with this. So um, all I can do now is just to click on this one here. And I'm gonna go right for this and give it for this. Oh, no, that is wrong. Oh, we just have to go to home. Instead, double click on this and we place it on this one. So beautiful, we have the nice color we're looking for. It is time for we to bring in images, right? Yeah, three images will be here. But before those images, I am going to copy, Ctrl D to copy this one and have it somewhere around uh, here. So you can bring it down a little bit and uh, just extend it and do something like this. That is cool. So for the transparency, I'm going to just reduce it. I want it to look like this one here. So something like this would be very nice. So what about the images? Let's go ahead and get it. Go to insert here. So under insert, you're going to see where it says pictures and uh, you go to this device and get in what you want to get. So here we have them, the three images I want to actually get right there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click on insert. So I have them here. So just resize this. So get this here. So this, uh, this is a company that is existing. So I can just go right here right now and just Google HPN. So HPN. So let's see if we can find HPN here. So we go to the uh, no, sorry, not the map. We're going to the images, not the map, actually. I'm going to go ahead and take it back. So let's just check the images we have here. And uh, you can see we have HP and So just scroll through, you're going to see where we have them here. So we have lots of images, uh, lots of their logos here. So you can see one of the image here in case you are trying to look for this, so you can grab this. But what I love to do uh, plenty of times is just going, let me just scroll up. I'm gonna end this. Let me show you how I get my image from Google. So if I know the company is existing, or if I'm working for a company and they say they have their logo online, I go to tool here, to the tools writer, and I'll go to color and I'll choose this particular transparent right here. So just not transparent to give you exactly what I have. As you can see, the one I just actually have in does not have any background. That's exactly how you can get it. Can you see it right here? So this is what we are actually using here. So this one now has no background. It's as clean as whatever you think of. So it's exactly what it is right here. So the background is being cut out. It's just like a logo. So this is what I have right here. And uh, this one, I'm gonna bring it down here. And and just reduce it a little bit here. So I'm gonna have it reduced and have it right here. So this is all we have to do. So the next thing I'm gonna do right now is just to copy this one here, Ctrl D to copy. And uh, coming here, I have to reduce it a little bit and this is gonna be fitting into this particular part. So Ctrl D, I'm gonna fit this one here. So just make sure you take your time to actually have this done. And after I might have done this, if you've not watched my other videos, you know how to actually export this for you to make sure you use it, right? So we're not actually leaving this as this color. So we're going to actually say for the fill color, we don't want the fill color. So we're going to the solid line color here. So I'm going to choose this one. So step off here, this is what you have. So you can actually increase what you have right here. It depends on what you want, right? So now that's exactly what you're gonna do. So do the same thing to this particular one. Just say no to it and uh, 
you can do this if you want to increase it just like what i've said you can actually increase it from this particular part and this is exactly what you have so after that we can just type in our text right here it's very simple and i believe everybody could do this it's just going to get the text box and actually type in whatever you want to type in so right here one the other the two the next the total net sales net sales and as well the gross revenue and we are done so the next you can do is just to go to file here and from file you can scroll down and you see export you can choose how you want it to be exported so pdf no we don't want that so we go to this particular chain file type and then we select png or jpeg out of it will definitely be good for it and just do this and your life will be very very cool so save this anywhere you like change its name and that uh, you have this click on save and that is all so i don't need to save this because i have already gotten this right on my pc so go ahead and do the same thing you would have a very nice work so now it is time to head back to power bi so power bi here we come so how do we get in this particular template we have just created it's very simple and easy if i right click on the new version if you're not using the new version of power bi you might want to actually go ahead and actually update here as you can see i have the newer version so all i just have to do is to say format canvas here and that at activate this particular format part right here for me so you see this you go ahead and click on browse to get your image right in here all right here we go we have it here double click or you click on open then from there we have it so your question might be why don't we see it right here that was because you have it in transparency at 100 percent so we have to reduce it to zero and there you go so we don't have too much work here because already the measures had been created that was why i was saying if you have not watched the part where we actually create held the measures you need to do that and one thing that is very important is actually subscribing this particular youtube channel it's very important please go ahead and do your subscription right now for you to keep seeing this kind of video over and over again and as well don't forget to actually like and uh and share so share this to your friends and family and co-workers because it's gonna be very cool to my channel okay let's get started again um you know now we have all the measures here so the very easy way to retrieve measures is by searching for it so if i want to search for quantity order right now i can type in here quantity so numbers of quantity is actually this so we have it right here on qty so i'm gonna pick it up right so picking it up now looks just like this so this is exactly what i have so what i need to do uh, next is for me to actually reduce it and not just that i can situate it right where i want to have it right on i want to have it right here right so uh the next thing i'm gonna do is just go back to my format we can switch right on it in case you can't find any of this here like if i don't have this you don't have this and you're using this for the first time just go to view and from view you see them here so turn your data on and turn the format on and you can switch you know within them so first of all i'm going to turn off the category and uh, go to this particular size and style and go ahead and turn off the background so it looks some kind of deck right so i'm going back up and uh, close this up and now call out value here we just have to select the color that will actually pop out very well i'm gonna go with this particular color it looks very bright so do i want it bright like this yes of course i think i do all right um i have one particular you know um what do i call it um i think it should be a chart but not just the chart it looks like um yeah let's let's let us go ahead and get it though so all i just have to do is to click on my insert here so when i click on my insert i have to go to where i have my charts right in and uh, get more visual more visual here and you click on from up no 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 that is not what it is i think we can go ahead and get it below this one so get more visuals click on it this is gonna go ahead and open the marketplace for you where you can search for paid and you know free visuals uh, i think i'm going to get this particular visual by okv so let me just search for okv okay okay let me just type okay this 
I forgot the name of the okay okay spark line by okay so here we have it so we're going to use this particular spark line here to see the trend of the quantity ordered that's exactly what it is that we are doing so if you don't have power bi service account you can actually do that for free and uh, if you want me to make a video about it you can just let me know i'm going to share you a link that will definitely help you to create your own free account even though if you don't have a student email or a working email so you can do that for free i think Power BI or Microsoft has actually made it very easy for everyone to actually, you know, uh, create an account on the platform. So all you just have to do is to click on add. You can actually see their rating and review and all of that. So I think it's cool. So it's Power BI satisfied. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So just give it some few sec. You're going to have it right here. Okay, successfully imported. So click on OK and let us go ahead and get our OK Vs. All right, so click on this particular part here and let's move all the way down. So here we go, we have it here. So this is the visual we have gotten. This is part line actually. So how do we just go ahead and make use of this particular part line right now? Hmm, very simple and easy. Let's configure it. So to have it configured, here we have this particular part where it says the uh, y, uh, the X axis. Click on it and actually bring in your calendar that we created from the section of the class. Go ahead and bring in the date itself, not either of the columns right here, but the date column. All right, we have it screwed down a bit. And once we scroll down now, we could find the value area. Oh my goodness, why is it not going down? Let me deselect and go back in. So click on this again. So here we go, the value area. So we go ahead and look for our quantity, QTY. So here is the merger, so I get it. So now this is the trend you have on a monthly basis, on a, on a daily basis, whatever. So here we go, release it. So now you still have this in selection. Quickly, we just have to go back to this line here and just scroll down a little bit. We should find where we can change its color. So you want to use a white color, but not a very bright white color. Let us go with something like this. So we can't see it because it is actually on the background. So scroll back up now. So close up the line and let's do the category label. I'm going to take it out. So go right here and turn off the background. Now we have it appeared. So it is time for we to make sure we move things. Do we have it okay here? I think it's cool right here. So it's cool. So if you want to have it in a very bright color, you could do that as well. So if you want to stretch it now, just watch it. And uh, now you can select it. Do you see that? I can select it. So if you must select it, you have to target the edge here and make sure you click it and that will actually help you to actually, you know, select it the way it should be. And that is exactly what I can do right on this particular part as well. It's just for me to stretch it and this is what I have. Does it really give you some kind of fancy way of looking at this? And as well, it gives you some kind of like trend line. So you can hover over this and see what month you have the highest, you know, I think I dislike this kind of date. So West Africa Standard Time, no, we don't want this. So let us quickly go back to data view. So click on our calendar here. Then from there, this is the DAX code we've written to create this calendar. So you can do that by watching the previous videos. And on this particular part here, I think we have the date to look all right. So why are we having that particular date? Maybe that was how they just updated their new version because I'm using the, show, the format that is shut and uh, it should be okay. So let's just go back to it again, hover over it and uh, let's see. Okay, January. So you can actually check your formatting, format it on your country or your regional settings, it will be okay. Okay, fine. So we're done with this now. What else do we need to do? It's just for me to copy this away from here Ctrl C and Ctrl V, we paste it down for us. We just have to bring this right here. Do under Ctrl V to actually bring this right to this particular part. So you know what it is. So we just have to get the total net sales, right? So you click on this particular part here, 
you just change the merger click here don't you don't need to remove it at all just click on this particular part once you've done that uh net sales you have it that is the merger for net sales and uh, you come here now and change this one to gross profit so you just click on this particular part here and you look for the gross profit right here gross profit margin mm -hmm. yeah sure so here we go this is exactly what it is so for those ones here i just have to in reduce the file size a bit i don't actually like it i'm gonna just um, make sure i put it on 43 okay let me just have it on 40 for example 40 will be cool and you don't have to do that again to the next one all i just have to do is to actually use the format painter here and uh, copy it and have it on this so that's exactly what i want to do all right hmm what is next right now is this particular part right here how do we really configure this to make it look some kind of beautiful all right let us set on navigation right now but before navigation i would love to actually have my slicer in here first so we just need to get a slicer here click on this particular part and uh, we go to calendar so we click on this date here so let's see automatically we have this so we're changing this into a slicer so we have to click on this particular part right here to actually build our visual so now we are changing this to a slicer so here we go slicer is here so automatically we have this so all we have to do is stretch it out so we do this and here we go let me give you the idea of what you're about to get into if you have seen my demonstration when i just got this started so this is what we have actually so i can just go ahead and select this and select this particular range uh, i want you to take a look at what we have on view right now i'm gonna give you a full screen to look at this right now so 7 5 2010 and 1 8 2013 so if i go to edit of this particular page right now i can definitely see what it is so this is the date i am analyzing this based on right now so we're gonna create a real part of this so that is exactly where we are right now so let's go ahead and you know see how we can do that and now look at this so we have to create all this it's not complicated at all let's do it okay getting back here now so here we have this and the very first thing we have to do is to remove its background away from it so we turn off the background by coming here scroll down here we go so it's off so let's just get here now we have the value we change the color of the value to something like this all right so if you want to crank it up you can do that so you can put it on 10 so it looks more bold something like this so if i step off it this is what i have so i can decide to turn off the title by going here and say the header should be turned off okay if i've done that that means i want to create my own header right and it's very easy to create my own header hope you get that so all you just have to do is to go to insert and click on text box here so what i want to do now is to type in here select the range so select the range i'm gonna actually 11 i'm gonna use 11 for it so i can use a bold font by coming here now i can select this particular one that says bold on it so now we can just step out and let's just bring it down here okay let us arrange it this way so the next thing now is to take off the background color so it's gone so what about the content inside it it's not really showing very well let us move it up a bit so select the content inside it do ctrl a for it and uh, let's do this so we select something like this so now this is exactly what we have but we don't want to make it look bright like this so we do this selection let's do this so I think I love something like this. This looks kind of very cool. So I can actually go ahead and select it 
and just move it down a bit to look very close to it. So this is what I have. Okay, let us do with the navigations, right? So on this particular navigation here, we are in, on in we are in home already. We don't need to do anything here. So, but I can still go ahead and use this blank. Yeah, with the blank. So I select this. I do this to cover it up. So here we go. So if I step off from it now, this is what I have. So I've done this before. It's not something new to you guys. So all I have to do right now is to come down to where it says um, button style. If I scroll down a bit now, I can see where it says border. So I'm going to just remove the border away from it. Now the border is gone. So we just have to impute our text on our default. Just use the default aspect here and open up the text by turning it on, open it up and type in whatever you want it to display. So here is going to be home. That is home. Okay. Um, I want my home to look very bold, but for now, this is not bold. So let us go to home and put home on the, on 20. Oh, home looks very good on 20. I love it. Okay. So the next thing we need to do now is to change the color of home to something like this. So it looks popped, right? But I don't want it to be this popped out. So I just want to select something that looks some kind of calm. Okay, something like this is good. So it's only going to look pop when I hover over it, right? So I have it on something like, um, let's see, we have it on 20, right? So right now I'm going to select this particular part where it says default, the state. So I'm going to put it on hover. So right now on hover, I want to select a different font here for it. I want to select something like this. So you can see it looks more, it looks more different. So I can decide to put it on 20. 25 let's see 25 how it is going to look like okay 25 looks some kind of cool but i think um the idea of changing this is not really working i can decide to use the light one here so now it look it looks like this that is beautiful so i want to give us this particular effect but the color should look very bright so that is how you can play around with it so now let's see this can you see it now? So this is how I have just created this particular one right here. So all I have to do right now, I think I love this already. I can just go ahead and um, duplicate this, copy and have it pasted. So you drag this right here. I'm going to show you how to format this with ease. You don't just format it any how you like. So you have to be very patient while doing this. So I'm taking this right here. So don't mind the way I actually arrange them for now. We can uh, arrange them the way we want. So all I have to do is to hold my control key to select all of them. And then I go to my format area here, then go to align and I'm going to align top. So they are equally aligned at the same level. So I don't want home for every one of them for the first time. Uh, I think before I definitely changed this, I need to use the same color I have right here. And I can't remember this color code. So what if I go here, click back here, and um, I'm going to come here, double click on this. And here we have the color appeared. Go to more colors and you copy the color code away from here with your control A, which you have it highlighted. So cancel it now or you click on OK then let us get back in here so now for this particular one when you hover over it the color i want on hover is this particular new color code i have just copied so paste it in right here so on hover let's see this is exactly what i want so do this for this one as well so we're going to change the text inside it but let us be done with this first so we do this all right, once you've done that, let us click on this. On this one here, I will definitely go ahead and remove it from hover and put it at default. So that will give you general change of the text. So here I'm going to say, uh, okay, let me just use transaction. So transaction is too much. I would rather use detail. 
So details here. So I'll come here now. I'll make sure it's on default. So right now it's on default. So I'm going to use product. So I'll click on this one here. I'm going to put this one on the returns. So returns. And uh, for this returns here, I'm going to actually get to, uh, okay, let me use the one that is home here because it's the one that is cool for it. So just copy and have it pasted now. So bring it all the way down here. So you can manually adjust this by moving it down using your arrow key. So stretch it. So once it has been stretched, so leave it at default and change what you have inside it. Just go down to the text area. Instead of home, just type in here, full report. So here we go. So let's see this. So can you see this now? So this is how we have actually achieved this. So you can do the same thing for this one. I'm not going to do it because it's always it's almost the same thing. So if I want to go to the detail, or uh, the detail is a transaction now. If I just click on this one here, I can go to my properties. Uh, is it properties? No. Go down. Scroll all the way down, 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 down. You can see action here. Turn on the action. Open up the action. You can see here, you say bookmark no, drill no. Page navigation is yes. So with your page navigation, you're going to choose the page you want to go into. So you can choose transaction here. So the product table is the page is not really ready. So click on this particular part right here where it says uh, return. And uh, do the same thing. Turn this on. Turn this on. Open it up. Scroll down. Select your page navigation. And uh, you go ahead and choose the destination here i think that is gonna be return page has not been named so here is it okay for this full report here you can choose action for it so i've just shown you an illustration of what you need to do so right now our main concern is actually this one here if i click on this one um i think i'm gonna go to format uh, or view let us go to view so with view you have this particular part right here that says sync slicer so click on sync slicer and make sure you sync this particular slicer to all pages that you have so they have been synced now to all the pages that you have so all you have to do now is to actually hold your control key if you're right here hold your control key and follow this link little it's going to take you to the detail page and uh, here we are so we have this slicer here we have to take care of it so we don't want this i'm going to just make sure i make it this small so let us just move this and uh, the middle part right here that is beautiful so it is okay right at this particular spot so we need to add what we have not actually added to this page before. And now we are going to come here and um, do I need to do this over and over again? I guess no. Okay, let us get back to our home here. So I'm going to just copy this particular home. So I'll come here now. I will definitely copy Then let us go to this particular page here. If I want to easily navigate to the, um, what do I call it? For we to easily, <coughs> make your pardon. For we to easily navigate to our, okay, I think we don't have to really do this. So I'm going to take this off. We already have this one here that we can copy and paste. So just go ahead and copy, have it pasted. I'm going to drag it all the way down here. So this is for we to easily navigate to the transaction or the return page. So this one is going to be here. So we have to actually turn this off for now we don't actually need it again so we are changing this now for the default color we are changing it to a color that will look popped so let us use this particular color that is beautiful so when we hover over it so we can see this color it's not bad it's okay detail page so when we get to this particular page here so we have to rename it to transaction here i'm going to rename it to uh returns rather return so here, I'm going to paste in 
this uh no yeah paste it so here is gonna be detail i'm gonna have and down pasted so here is gonna be trans uh, return rather so bring it down so here is our return uh, for the return is okay for this one here we have to change its color so scroll down a bit and here you have it so i'm gonna pick up this particular color right here so this is exactly what i've done in the one you have seen right here if i go to return right now on the return page you can see we have this if i hover over it this is what i have and if i click on this now it's going to take me to add up this page where i can actually navigate using the in page navigation to get what i want and um, this particular part right here helps me to navigate to my product table where we have some kind of details on the product we're going to take a look at that and see how we can actually create this okay let us return back to where we are from and here we are right so now on this particular part here we have this one i'm gonna move it here click on this one so just reduce it a bit so we're going to brighten it dark now to help us to get things done so after i might have gotten this right all i'm going to do now is to copy the format and have it for the slides that we have right here okay now it's working so if i just do this now the problem is this i cannot see what i have selected right here so we have to go ahead and quickly change it so go to the value area and uh, change the value area to the color that will look popped so we quickly need to go ahead and use a bolder font so this looks good right so you can move it down so now this is exactly what we have so we have one more thing to go that is going to be our category um product category slicer so we have to quickly get it in right here so you can right click and actually say in add uh, add visual so inside the visual is what you're going to turn into a slicer right now so you're going to have to go here and say okay what i want is actually a slicer not a major visual so now for your slicer we select the category for it so here is the subcategory and here is the category name so we have it and we don't want this list actually we can go ahead and change it by going to slicer settings here so from vertica let us select this particular tile no we don't want that so we go for drop down and drop down will definitely give us what it is that we're looking forward to seeing so now in the drop down i'm going to copy the same format and uh, have it right here so we still have the same issue we had so let me just bring this down now i can go to my view here okay value right there. so open my value down scroll down here we go ahead and select this and we can increase this a bit so now this looks good so every single time i open this this is what i see so the content inside it cannot be seen the way it should be so what do we do we have to deal with that let's see how we can actually fix it um i think this is gonna be the background here no not the background here it has nothing to do with the background here we've turned the background here off i'm thinking where could that be not here not here slicer mm, okay slider settings actually selection no 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 oh my goodness i think i've forgotten this let us go to value here on that value we have background so here we go we select the background and we select a particular color for the background so let us just select any color for it I think this color looks very good right so all we just have to do now is to stretch it to make sure we show all the content inside it without cutting any of it out so if i select clothing now so we have it change it to clothing protein and our vitamins so this is exactly what it is that you can do so for now we can actually give this a name so all i have to do is to actually um, I think I, I don't have to do this over and over again. I have already some I have already done something like that right here. That is this particular one. So I can actually copy this one to make things look very snappy. So just do the copy here. And let us go back to here. So click on this particular part, Ctrl V to have it pasted. So I'm gonna put it right here. So for this particular part here, 
this exactly select date range now um here is gonna be product category so here we go select the content and uh, centralize it then you can have the flexibility to actually do this so now the color the color let us go ahead and use something more brighter i think this looks very good so you can copy this particular part here for other parts that is exactly what you can do let us go to transaction for example where we have actually done something so you paste this right here it's asking you to sync this do you want to sync it actually hmm, maybe partially i don't know it's your choice so i might like to sync it and i'll click on sync so whatever we have selected from here would affect any other page so now this has affected this page and if i select like um this uh this particular one now i'm on your eyes it here so let us get back to here and let's see what is selected Okay, uh, okay, I didn't sync actually. It does not sync, so no issues. We can sync it manually just like the way we sync this one right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have done that. So for we to leave this particular place here, uh, this one has not been renamed. So we don't have to forget this. We just need to come here now and type here return analysis. Return return analysis here that is beautiful so we have return analysis here selected hmm, nicely done all right what else do we need to do we have to link this particular one to the right page where we can actually start looking at things the way it should be so to link it you know what it is just come down here and choose where you want to link it on so for that particular home page what you can do now is to go back to the home page here so on the home page, we have to copy this. That has been copied. Then we go to our either return or any of the pages. We might want to do something right on. So here we can paste it here. Let us move it right to this particular uh, spot. And now we have to change its color. Select, go down. At default, make sure you check it. If it's at default, now come here, choose a brighter color for it. Uh, let us select this particular color. This looks good on home. So when we hover over it, we don't want it to give us this. So we do on hover. So we select the color for hover. So let us select something like, um, yeah, something like this. So on hover is still this is what we want okay right here we just have to select um, i think this one will be cool for this we are actually tidying things up now so if you have followed me to create this before now it is time for you to do the same thing by doing what i'm doing now to get things you know the way it should be so right here now i'm gonna say i'll uh, return and refund detail and uh Refund, reform detail. So details. So control A to highlight the content inside it, and I'm gonna push it to this end. Come move it a bit, and for the font here is an 11. Let us try to use 12. Uh, 12, 12, 12 will be cool. Let us go with uh, 14. Uh, I might, I might think, I uh, think this is pretty much, but not really uh, bad at all. So let us select the content part of it and uh, we go ahead and choose to use something like this and for the refund as well. So we choose to use something like this. So if that would be pretty much, let us go ahead and use something that looks some kind of calm, not too bloody. Yeah, not too bloody so we go ahead with this as well so let us step out okay now we have it here i quickly have one particular measure to write so let us get back in here and open our measure table so here is our measure table writing so if i right click now i'm gonna click on it and i will just say new measure 
Let us look at what we are going to write in this measure. So what I am I'm trying to get in this measure now is to get what I have selected from my date. So if I go to home, I have something selected. I want to show what I have selected. And it's a simple measure that we can write to actually help us do that. So let me actually zoom closely for you to see what I'm doing. So right here, I'm going to say first date equals so right here we have what we call first date. So this first date will return what is selected from the uh, slide. So the first date is going to look for a date and that is going to be our calendar. So calendar, the date that we've supplied. So here I hit my enter key. Okay. That is my first date here. I am going to right click again to create another one, new measure. Inside this new measure, I'm going to name it last date. So as the name actually is sound, I'm going to use a measure like that. Last date. So I'm going to say last date here. So calendar, the date column. So here we go. So we've just gotten the measure written the way it should be. So it is time for me to work with it. So right here, right click and uh, actually say add a new visual. So multi tyro, I think that is the name. If I get it right, yeah, not metrics. What do I need to use? I'm thinking of which particular one. Yeah, multi row card, right? So this multi row card would take in what we have just created. So. Uh, let us first of all go with the first one selected, then the last one selected here So the last date. So now here we go. So I'm going to just do this. So now as you can see, it is not formatted correctly the way I really expect it to be. So I want to come here now and select shot. Then go to the next one and do the same thing as well. So click on the next one, then go right here and select shut date. So with that being selected, we should have what we want now. Then we are going to be set for the format. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. So I don't want this first date, last date here. So we have to get it off. So to do that now, click on this particular part here and we just turn this off. That is beautiful. So all we can do is just to make sure we have something written here that explains exactly what this is. So we have to crank it up a little bit, right? What if I go ahead and select a bold font? Nicely done. And uh, what if I decide to use something like this? And what if I actually increase it a bit? Hmm, that is better, that is better, that is better. Okay, analysis between is what we need to actually write here. But before then, let's see how we can shift things around. Okay, so here now we can definitely click on this one to copy it. Let's copy and have this one pasted. So here we say analysis. Between. So control A. Come here and 12 here. So here we do this. Just make sure you open it up, select the content inside it, Ctrl A. Let us use 16, for example. That might look, I think that looks too much. 14 will be cool. Yes. So 
analysis between just take care of this it will definitely give you what you want so you can copy this one as well to other pages so let us look at this if it is working now we have uh 1st of january 2013 and uh, 12 uh, december 31st 2013 here so let us go back to this particular part here on the home level so let us turn our settings into something different now we are going to see different entirely based on our selection so you can see you can see this now it has changed what we see here so returning back to this particular aspect now would definitely give us the view of our selection can you see this now or oh, isn't okay let's see does it sync with this yet uh we need to make sure it syncs with this if you feel like this date here is not really working what you can do is to return back to this particular home and uh, make sure you click on this uh, make sure this one is checked as well then click on this particular part here and this particular two here are checked so if they are checked definitely let's say we actually do this now so you can see we are seeing uh, okay let us just do this okay 3 23 4 20 um 2011 2013 let's do this now so yeah we can see we have the same thing here and we have the same thing here as well so this is exactly what it is so what i want you guys to do yourselves now is this particular part it's very simple and easy to do here we just have the product detail here let me just give you a full screen for you to see what is going on right on this particular part. So right there is just for you to see your transaction and you can actually, you are seeing the highest transacted, um, highest um, product that has a lot of transaction right now. So I can decide to actually do this now. If I sort this, I'm going to see products with the highest order. You understand? Now, this is exactly what it is. So, and... Uh, this is the one that has the highest return or refund wherever so this is exactly what it is by profit margin you can sort and this would definitely help you to see which particular product has the highest profit margin and whatsoever and all of that so ladies and gentlemen this is exactly what you can do i believe with what i have done now you can perfect the remaining part of the dashboard itself to look very much more professional so in case you want this particular full template just like this for you to be able to have something you can have on your screen to navigate through it like this my udemy course has this particular full pbrx for you and as well if you are my if you're part of my uh, my membership you will definitely have this template for free if you can't see it message me i'm gonna actually send it to you for free this particular one so that's exactly what it is so ladies and gentlemen this is all you have to do to have this particular part here created and actually make sure you link it to every other part of your dashboard so this is exactly what it is subscribe leave a comment share and let me know what you feel about this dashboard thanks for watching